Well, hello there, everybody. It's Grandpa Scott, and it's another beautiful day and a great day to have a quick story, just to have some fun. You guys still like to have fun? Me too. And I have fun just reading stories to you guys every time. I'm pretty excited about this one. The story today is called Timothy Goes to School. And this is the time of the year where a lot of kids are getting ready to go to school. Maybe you are too. Well, let's see what its story is all about, shall we? Okay. Timothy, Timothy's mother made him a brand new sunsuit for the first day of school. Hooray, said Timmy. He was excited. Timothy went to school in his new sunsuit with his new book and his new pencil. Good morning, said Timothy. Good morning, said the teacher. Timothy said, Timothy, said the teacher, this is Claude. Claude, this is Timothy. I'm sure you'll be best for friends. Hello, said Timothy. Nobody wears a sunsuit on the first day of school, said Claude. That wasn't very nice. During playtime, Timothy hoped and hoped that Claude would fall into a puddle. Hmm, that's not very nice either, is it? But he didn't. He jumped right over it. When Timothy came home, his mother asked, How was school today? Nobody wears sunsuits on the first day of school, said Timothy. I will make you a beautiful new jacket, said Timothy's mother. She is a kind lady. Timothy wore his new jacket the next day. There he is, running to school. Hello, said Timothy to Claude. You're not supposed to wear party clothes on the second day of school, said Claude. What's his problem? All day, Timothy wanted and wanted Claude to make a mistake. But he didn't. When Timothy went home, his mother asked, How did it go? You're not supposed to wear party clothes on the second day of school, said Timmy. Don't worry, said Timothy's mother. Tomorrow, you just wear something in between, like everyone else. Sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? The next day, Timothy went to school in his favorite shirt. Off he dashed to school. Look, said Timothy, you are wearing the same shirt I am. No, said Claude, you are wearing the same shirt that I am. Oh my, oh my. During lunch, Timothy wished and wished that Claude would have to eat all alone. But he didn't. All the friends gathered round Claude. After school, Timothy's mother couldn't find Timothy. Where are you, she called. I'm never going back to school, said Timothy. Why not, said his mother. Because Claude is the smartest and the best at everything, and he has all the friends, said Timothy. You'll feel better in your new football shirt, said Timothy's mother. A football shirt? That should be cool. Timothy did not feel better in his new football shirt. He was feeling kind of down and sad. That morning, Claude played the saxophone. I can't stand it anymore, said a voice next to Timothy. It was Violet. You can't stand what, Timothy asked Violet. Grace, said Violet. She sings, she dances, she counts up to a thousand, and she sits next to me. During playtime, Timothy and Violet stayed together. Violet said, I can't believe you've been here all along. Will you come home and have cookies with me after school? Timothy asked. It looks like they're starting a friendship, doesn't it? On the way home, Timothy and Violet laughed so much about Claude and Grace that they both got a hiccup. Huh. You know, sometimes kids are kind of mean, and they just try to make you feel bad, but they probably feel bad inside too, and it's just something they do to make themselves feel better about themselves. Well, whatever you do, 
always try to be a good friend. And if you try to be a good friend, others will like you too. For just who you are. Not what you wear, not what you can do, but just who you are. Well, this story, Timothy Goes to School, might be done, but the adventure is just beginning. So go outside and have some fun, and maybe till next time, Timothy is all 